Hundreds of undocumented Central American kids are here in Nebraska. They are just a handful of the nearly 60,000 who cross the U.S. border. Many are with relatives as they await deportation hearings. KETV News Watch 7's Adrian Whitsett is following this developing story. He joins us live. And Brandy, they've turned themselves in to the Border Patrol at the, at the U.S. border to Mexico. Nebraska Senator Mike Johans believes it is a huge problem that the U.S. is on the verge of not even having a border when it comes to those underage. First by raft, then on foot, and by bus, thousands of kids made their way to America. When I saw these kids, I saw myself. When I saw these kids and they were smiling, I knew that they were scared. From volunteer shelters or detention facilities, the undocumented kids get sent across the U.S. to wait for deportation hearings. That includes about 200 kids now in Nebraska. This can't be allowed to continue. The law needs to be changed here, or we have no border whatsoever when it comes to anybody underage. On his weekly conference call, Senator Mike Johan said the 200 could be 250 by the end of the week. Then he spoke out at the Capitol Hill hearing about President Obama's $3.7 billion request to shore up border security and speed up deportation. That is going to impact the story that they're telling down there and what is causing these kids to come to the United States because they're coming here believing that if they can just get near custody, they're not going to go home. Johans says the U.S. is sending the wrong message, meaning those looking to make money by exploiting families get paid. Here you have illegal activity benefiting because of the failure of the United States to enforce its immigration laws, and that is just flat wrong. And Senator Johan said today that the real tragedy he sees is that the kids might be harmed, even killed, before they make it to the border. He says those already here need to be sent back before they just disappear into society. Back to you.